So we're Poncho's backyard or something, I think is what it's called. <laughs> excited with our food so tamales and the carne asada platter after we've already you know been into it <laughs> and I had to get a coke because I'm too much of a whim for that mojito trouble videoing because it's so sunny I can't even tell so this is the Puerto Casamel Several different ports, I think I mentioned before. And this is the one with three amigos there. We walked all through here, but I don't think my video was on. Because <laughs> it's so sunny, I couldn't tell. It is so hot. But this is pretty cool. Throw your recyclables in here. To remind you not to put them in the ocean where fish eat them. But it's all kinds of things to purchase. And excursions to take. And drinks to drink. And food to eat. So, let's, uh, here's where you go back in. It's so hot, we're gonna go. <laughs> we had Mexican food, and we might come back later when the sun goes down a bit. I swear, Mexico has a different sun than Florida does. <laughs> I know that's not possible, but it's just so intense here. All right. Okay, so they have a really pretty passport stamp here. But you have to go up all these stairs and more to get it in the hot Mexico sun. <laughs> but it was worth it. And when you get there, there's air conditioning. Here's another angle of the port. It's just, it's shopping. Uh, lots of jewelry stores. And then lots of souvenir trinkets, t-shirts, hats. They have some pretty cool stuff, actually, I've seen. But I just not in the need to shop when it's hot. <laughs> they do have some beautiful um, dinnerware and glassware that's made here. Okay, this is a good time to shoot a little bit of the ship while people are either in the pool or out in the port in Cozumel. It's a city skyline, New York City skyline. Bars everywhere. Another one of these orchid displays. It is really a beautiful ship. All right, we're gonna go in the photo gallery in just a minute and you cannot take photos there. But you can see we're on a promenade deck, which means there's, you can walk around the ship there. Not all ships have that anymore. That's a very traditional um, approach. You see they have these loungers, very traditional looking wooden loungers on the promenade. But since we have a balcony, we don't really take advantage of them. This ship is also filled with beautiful artwork. This is... It's all gold leaf. Beautiful. Okay, taking pictures of the Puerto Cozumel again. I took them this morning, but I couldn't see a thing through the lens, through the uh, viewfinder thingy window. Sun was in the wrong place. We ate at Pancho's sidewalk or something. It's that white building over there. I don't know if you can see it. And Jerry's carne asada was better. It's just a little, you know, steak, I think flank steak, thinly cut, was better than what uh, he had last night on the ship, he said. So I took a bite of it. It was very tasty. I just like, prefer to have tamales when I'm in Mexico. So look at the color of the water. It's not gorgeous. All right, well, the Mexican sun got me. <laughs> I'm 
them hot. So we decided to come back and maybe we'll go in the hot tub or pool or something. I don't know. But we're here till 7.30 at night, so we could go back out later and get a flan and coffee or something. So, all right. See you later. So the concierge gave me these today. I'm not sure why, <laughs> but he did. So that was very nice. So the little bouquet that's normally here every day, I moved onto the dressing table. And we still haven't drank this bottle of champagne that keeps getting iced every day. I assume eventually the label will come off. Yeah, not much for drinking. Okay, lunch at the buffet. I have lo mein, tempura, and something with a big shrimp in it. <laughs> Nice dinner. <laughs> Sorry. This is a green chili and corn chowder. It smells wonderful. And okay, that's another appetizer. Okay, I'm the salmon, and Jerry had a pork tenderloin. That's a jerk, jerk tenderloin, pork tenderloin. So what is this called, Jerry? Do you know? What? What was that called? Uh, I don't know. And mine has a name I can't pronounce. Zupa or something? Okay, so we are at the Dive In restaurant that just serves um, hamburgers and hot dogs on the, on the uh, pool deck. So crab stuff, or no, lobster head, devil eggs. And then I have arugula with fruit and nuts. <laughs> Is it lamb? Oh, it's lamb chops. And I'm having a small, a petite filet mignon with crab meat on top. So Jerry's having strawberries with Romanoff. Grand Marnier and strawberries over vanilla ice cream. And I am having black forest cake. I don't know what this is called, but it's a pastry with fruit. Perfect. Jerry's having eggs benedict with Dungeness crab. And I am having banana bread, French toast, a sausage. Mm -mm. Oh, we got orchids today. Alright. So Jerry's having the um, Swedish pancakes with, is it lingon berries? Is that how you say it? Yes. And I have a custom omelet. Ooh, my hand. Get That's my okay. Hand. Hand. Okay. I got you. Oh, your yeah, hand. Yeah. There you go. I got your hand. With the hand. <laughs> a hand model. So this is Jerry's coconut shrimp on a little like salad and my um, Maryland style or Baltimore style I can't remember what it said I guess it's probably the same thing crab cake we are both having prime rib horseradish yeah mine has a big glop of horseradish I'm gonna take off and then it has some it's mushrooms and then it has a vegetable stew they call it no coffee um so what is this, a raspberry torte or something? With ice cream? I forgot. And what did I have? Oh, I have a chocolate pastry. So there must be chocolate inside. Got like a 
Let's see. Oh, the lights just went out again. They keep going. Popping on. Looks delicious. Oh, mine is definitely chocolate inside. Wow. I'm glad I have some milk. 